So yeah, y'all, as promised, <clears throat> it is review time. And let's see, is this game really as bad as some of these drama queen uh, Saints Row heads are making it out to be? Uh, or is it uh, the greatest game that some uh, apologist YouTubers are making this out to be? Or some fanboys are making it out to be? Well, <clears throat> I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm going to give my honest thoughts, my honest opinions as promised. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this party started. But first, intro! Yo, what is good, my fellow gamers? What is good, my fellow Saints Row heads? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another uh, game review video. Uh, almost botched that there, but anyway... Uh, so as promised, I have my list here. You're not going to see it because I'm going to go through all the things I have written here. You know what I mean? Um, as promised. Now, first of all, for those of you who may not know, Saints Row is one of my favorite video game franchises. This is a game franchise that really kicked off way back in 2006 with the very first game, um, which is still my favorite, one of my favorite games to this day, um, along with its sequel. And then, of course, third game, Mm, not not the best uh, in the original trilogy, but um, it's still a pretty decent game overall. And then the fourth game, I, I enjoy the fourth game. You know what I mean? To me, it's it's not a terrible game. Could that game be better? Sure. But overall, at least to me, in my opinion, it's not a terrible game. Um, and stick around because we will get into uh, comparisons. I will com uh, make some comparisons for uh, this recent release. This reboot, if you will, uh, to all of the four original games. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, guys. So, for Saints Row 2022, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Um, we're going to go through the uh, all the negatives first uh, because there's less negatives than there are positives. Now, <clears throat> Hear me out on this, okay? Uh, starting first off with the... All right, guys. So kicking things off with the, with the dislikes, um, the most obvious. Yes, this game does have some glitches. It does have some bugs. I've experienced very few of these bugs. Uh, there were times when um, my character would act like she has like, like, like a broken arm or whatever, and she's like, you know, favoring her arm, and she'll, sometimes she'll be holding a weapon, and I can't get her to aim and shoot. So I have to, you know, reboot the game in order to fix that. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to uh, to get get some game game time in, right? <clears throat> so yeah, uh, it does have its fair share of glitches. There's also uh, this uh, thumbnail that I'm probably gonna put over here, um, where as you can see, um, the boss's feet are digging into the ground because I don't know. I guess Volition doesn't know how to um animate you know the boss character to stand just a little bit taller when she's wearing heels or boots or whatever the hell you know what i'm saying come on yeah come on volition i mean you're, you're you release this game on the xbox one the xbox series x the ps4 and the ps5 you should be a lot better at this than you were before i mean well i mean you should be just as good as you were before because you had no problems animating a boss standing a little bit taller than the rest of the crew, again, when she's wearing heels and boots. I mean, we've seen it in Saints Row 2. We've seen it in Saints Row 3 or the third, both the original release and the remaster. We've also seen it in uh, Saints Row 4. So there's really no excuse there in that department. <clears throat> and then, of course, uh, some of the other bugs... Some of the other issues um, I was having was um, when we we're going after uh, Nuwali in the VTOL segment. So, and this is the only time really um, I really have this issue when flying, when, when riding in a in a or controlling a flying vehicle. Easy for me to say, whether it be a helicopter or a VTOL. Some people said that they had issues with this with uh, with helicopters. I never had this experience with with helicopters, um, but I do know in the VTOL when you try to go into hover mode. Um, the camera was doing this weird zoom in thing that was making it hard to see and hard to control uh, the uh, VTOL. But um, fortunately, as I mentioned 
um, during that segment of going after Nuwali, pretty much all you have to do to fix that um, is just save your game progress, exit out to the main menu, and then just start your campaign um, from there, and it'll take you right back into the VTOL segment when you're going after uh, Nuwali, and um, your VTOL will control like like it like it should. You know what I'm saying? You you won't go into this zoomed in mode when you're in your hover mode. You know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll still see yourself in the from a third person view, um, no matter which mode that you're in, whether you're in the hover mode or in, the, in your flying mode. Uh, <clears throat> Again, it's a bit tedious. It is annoying, but there is a, there is a fix for it. Just so you guys know. Um, and then pretty much that was pretty much on, the only um, glitches, really, if anything, that I've uh, experienced. Uh, there may be some I'm forgetting about, but I mean, I have the whole I have a whole playlist of gameplay videos. So if you guys want to go through those, and um, I mean, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to to uh, let me know in the comment sections. Some of the things that I may have missed. I'm not perfect by any means. But anyway, dialogue. Um dialogue, it it, it, it was it was really hit or miss for me at times. There were times where the dialogue wasn't too too bad. It had its moments where it was okay, it was decent, dare I say even solid at times. But then there were times where yes, yeah, some some pieces of dialogue they come off a little cringe, they come off a little forced, you know what I mean, and contrived and what have you. But which is a bit of a shame because, I mean, even the third game, you know, has had his moments of really for the most part. The dialogue in the third game, I would dare say, is better than the dialogue in, in this game, which is which is really sad. You know what I mean? Hell, even the dialogue in the fourth game is better than than this, um, which again is really sad. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna say it, it's it's all cringe. It has its moments here and there, you know what I'm saying? Or it can, or it, it was pretty decent at times. But then yeah, it, it can be cringy at times as well, you know what I'm saying? It, it all depends on how much time really you spend with this game to really, um, so in order for you to see for yourself. Um, the crew. Now by crew, I mean the uh, the generic gang members that you have in, in in your gang did not like the way that they were dressed i mean you had some uh girls that were wearing shirts that said criminal on them like it was like uh like uh no shit <laughs> of course for, you know it, 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 of course it's a gang of criminals i mean you have to be pretty stupid to not understand that i mean we don't need be we don't need to have that shit like thrown in our faces like oh in case you forgot you guys are criminals you know what i'm saying like nah man that's freaking stupid and then you got them wearing bulletproof vests and shit and it's like where did they get these bulletproof vests from i don't remember the original um uh, the original gangsters uh wearing bulletproof vests you know what i'm saying um I mean, I, I, I am going to go back and finish uh, Saints Row the Third Remaster because I'm pretty sure not even in that game they were wearing bulletproof vests and all that um, other crazy shit. Um, but yeah, to me, they, they just they, they didn't look like gangsters to me. They looked more like, um, as Sly Cooper would say in the third game, more like a band of misfits. And uh, <clears throat> the reason I mentioned Sly Cooper is because I am going to um, revisit uh, the uh, Sly Cooper trilogy. But anyway, that's... For a whole nother video, a whole nother time. Um, and then some of these missions, like like the Kev uh, Kids Meal Toy mission. Yeah, I mean, that was a little weird. Um, I'll, I'll definitely say that. that I'll, I would agree. That's definitely one of the least favorite missions uh, in, in this game. I don't know. It, it was just weird. Especially the part towards the end where they make... Um, a reference about Kevin possibly dressing up as Santa Claus for you know at a children's shelter, but then not wearing a top. You know what I mean? Being shirt, being a shirtless Santa Claus in front of a bunch of kids, I find that really weird. Um, that definitely rubbed me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's just hope and pray that Kev never gets that Santa Claus gig. But anyway, and then like, like the uh, collectibles, some of the collectibles are actually pretty cool, pretty dope. I mean, I do like the fact that you can um, 
and I probably should put this in my likes uh, but I'll come back to it later on to go more in depth with it but I do like the fact that we can display collectibles in the church um, <clears throat> you know, especially when, when, when the church gets renovated and everything and we, we rebuild the church making it look all nice and fancy and everything uh, but the but just going after all these collectibles and everything I mean unless you want to hundred percent the game I mean that's totally up to you uh, me um, I just wanted to get through through the uh, story because I wanted to see if the story you know what the story was like what the story was all about and everything so I felt like the collectibles were just like one of those things where it's like it wasn't really worth worth my time and all that and um, instead of collectibles how come we didn't get tag locations I mean you you teased us you know with the announcement with the with the tag the reboot tag on the walls and stuff like that you know what I mean so how, how come we didn't get any tag locations like I would rather have tag locations than collectibles and stuff but that's just me though I mean this is supposed to be a gangster game so you know I mean anyway um, political messaging there were a little bit of political messaging like you got this gang called the idols they're supposed to be this group of anarchists and whatever and um, how they're you know anti-establishment or anti you know civilization and whatever whatever the hell you know what I mean and then we kind of got that and going back to the the kids meal toy mission we kind of got that from um, this drive-through worker because you're basically going up against the idols in that mission and everything and yeah I felt like 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 all that stuff from the idols being you know this this group of anarchists or whatever uh, hypocritical anarchists or whatever you know what I mean that felt a little forced to me didn't care for that as far as like any woke stuff i don't know maybe because i'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer or whatever i don't know i, I didn't really get get any hardly any you know woke vibes in this game i mean that that's just me i i didn't get any of that um <clears throat> except for uh when the church was in ruins and it's being renovated there was an lgbtq flag in the church which i i don't agree with now look that doesn't mean i'm anti-lgbtq plus whatever the hell you know what i'm saying i'm not you know what i mean hey i'm all for you know equality representation you know what i'm saying i don't care that shit doesn't really bother me um, I just don't want that shit forced in my face. If anything, um, I'm not saying take the LGBTQ flag out of the game. If anything, you should make that a collectible option. You know what I mean? If people really want that representation in their copy of the game, then have them go earn it by making that a collectible. You know what I mean? Something that they have to take a picture of and then if they want to display that in their church, they have that option to do so. If the rest of us don't want to do that, you know what I mean? Then we have that option you know what i'm saying so that way it's a win-win for everybody you know what i'm saying it's still in the game if you really want it you're gonna have to go and collect it you know what i'm saying um and then if some of us don't want to collect it we don't have to you know what i'm saying i'm just saying that way it's still in the game it's not forced you know what i mean and that's just me <clears throat> but anyway um, the whole rolling out of bed thing, um, yeah, where the boss gets depressed from being, well, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't played the game, I mean, the game's been out for over a month now, so really it shouldn't be a spoiler at this point, um, but when the boss gets fired from working for Marshall, <clears throat> so yeah, this is the boss's backstory, going into the boss's backstory a little bit, the boss, um, starts out working for Marshall, gets fired because, um, because Marshall puts, well, Atticus Marshall, who is the owner of the company, he uh, puts the boss in charge on a mission, and in his in his view, she failed hard, well, at least my boss, who was a female, she failed hard in, in that mission, um, in leading that mission or whatever, leading the uh, troops in that mission to protect uh, the, some kind of uh, codex or whatever. Uh, he fires her right there on the spot, and then she goes into this state of depression. I mean, I can kind of forgive it because the thing you have to keep in mind, this is the first game. This is a, a, a you know, the very first game set in a totally different universe that is separate from the original uh, four part series that we got. You know what I'm saying? This is in no way connected to the original games that came before it. This is a, an origin story. This is only the first game. So, 
<clears throat> I can see the boss being much different than the than the boss that we got, you know, in the original series. Because you got to look at how that story played out for the boss in the original series versus how the story is playing out for this boss. You know what I mean? It's a completely different story, completely set of circumstances on that 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 is molding and shaping this boss character. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, I could do without the whole forcing the boss to roll out of bed and having to turn to toast a, a waffle and all that nonsense and then seeing them, you know, just sitting on the couch, you know what I mean, um, just lounging on the couch with Nina, you know what I mean, buying a whole freaking, well, the, the uh, watching the Home Shopping Network and buying a, a freaking a shit ton of knives, that part to me was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that part was pretty funny. It's just everything that led up to it, from the rolling out of bed, trying to toast your own waffle and everything, that, I could have done without that. Um, let's see what else we got on here. Oh, the, um, I, I, I was, I was a bit mixed up. I thought at first there was no, um, homie revival, meaning that, uh, whenever one of your homies get, gets shot, you know, or take, taken down or whatever, um, th this was my fault, really, um, I, I, I didn't think that they had a homie revival where you can revive your homies after they, they, they got shot down or whatever, uh, but turns out there actually is, so I'm glad they had that. If anything, that should go to my likes. So let me go ahead and correct this. Homie revive. All right. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not perfect. <clears throat> so... Let's go ahead and continue on with our dislikes. Um, some BS filler mission. Yes, there are some BS filler missions. Um, like I said, the whole Kev uh, Kiz Mill toy, um, and then of course you know we got the loyalty missions as well. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, let me go ahead because yeah, there are some BS filler missions in it. Um, there's but they're they're very few and far between, which I do appreciate. Uh, let's really jump into the next thing because this is what really bothered me the most the lack of boss fights uh, Really the only bosses you, you're gonna fight in this game are the founding members of the idols, you know, what I'm saying which You know, what I mean so uh, like if anything I really like going up against the idols because pretty much that's one one of if not the only gang really that you have a huge hand in, in dismantling and of course taking out their their leaders and whatnot so at least we got that with the idols however when it comes to the panteros um you don't you don't get to fight with sergio i mean this is the guy that's that's messing with us because we decided to start up our own gang you know what i'm saying do our own thing and whatever and separate ourselves from everybody um this guy goes after nina's car he destroys her car um so he's trying to you know mess with us you know emotionally you know what i mean and uh, spiritually and whatever and we go on this train robbery and we have a chance in you know doing battle with sergio but no we go and rescue the uh nawali and that dude kills sergio for us taking the satisfaction away from us and then the boss and Nina are instantly over everything that Sergio had put us through. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not cool with that. That Sergio, that Sergio should should have been a boss fight, and Sergio should have been dealt with by either Nina. I mean, if you're gonna go that route, where we're not gonna have a boss fight, but someone insta kills Sergio, you should have given that to Nina, if anything, because Nina you know, is the one that has ties to the Panteros, being that she was a former Pantero, it would have made more sense to have, give her that insta-kill, if anything, um, if you're not gonna give us a boss fight, but it should have been a boss fight, you, you should have given the player the satisfaction of, you know, killing Sergio, I mean, I'm just saying, and my bad, y'all, but I gotta take a restroom break, I'll be back right back. A few moments later. All right, y'all, my bad, but anyway, so, yeah, the um, not being able to kill Sergio ourselves, that 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 was a bit uh, a bit of a letdown for me. Uh, however, I do appreciate the self awareness the game had at that point when the boss said, 
you know, I kind of thought I would, uh, well, screw it, never mind. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, let's see what's next on the list. The Eli LARP loyalty mission. Look, I made, I made my point clear um, in the last few videos in regards to Eli's LARP uh, missions. Look, like I said, LARP is not my thing. Um, if you're watching this and you're someone who likes LARP and all that stuff, I mean, hey, don't let me discourage you. Don't let me talk you out of doing what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just, me personally, I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Although, to be fair, to be fair, I did like that Eli's version of LARP uh, at least involves like um, like shooting weapons and whatnot, um, and that it's not like completely like something that's like medieval times or something like that. It's like this post-apocalyptic uh, type of thing going on, which I I, I can to a degree I, I I can get behind that. I can dig that. And then there were some jokes, some inside jokes. In regards to what they were going for and what they were doing, like like Sandy Kraken, I, I it, it took me a minute. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I got the ins I, I got the joke behind that, and then the um, bowel rod. Yeah, it's one of those things where if you don't think about it too hard, it's it's actually a lot funnier than than, than you think. So I'll, I'll give it that. I mean, there there was there was some 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 good jokes in there. There were there were some there was there was some fun to be had with that, but again, but still, LARPing is not my thing. If that's your thing, hey, more power to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, so I guess the Eli LARP loyalty, it's still a dislike for me because, like I said, I'm not into that kind of thing. But I, there there was some some fun to be had with it. And then uh, oh yes, uh, OP'd cops and gang vehicles. Now look, the one thing I always appreciate about Saints Row, and this game definitely delivered on that end, is the vehicle customization. It has um, the, the three upgrade kits that you can provide for your vehicle to upgrade like your, your speed, your, your handling, and all that other good stuff. But to me, I feel like that stuff is pointless. Be excuse me, that stuff is pointless because no matter what, Gang vehicles are, are, are able to catch up to you. Cops can catch up to you. To me, if you're going to do stuff where you're going to up, up, uh, update or upgrade the, the uh, speed of my vehicle, easy for me to say, um, then, I mean, I should be able to outrun police and rival gangs if I'm going to be upgrading, if I'm going to be spending money, especially crazy amounts of money to upgrade the speed of my vehicle. I think the first upgrade kit is like 5K if memory serves second upgrade kit is like 25k and then the final upgrade kit is 100k if i'm spending 100k on the third and final upgrade kit i expect to outrun cops and my uh rival uh gangs you know what i'm saying um otherwise it, there's no point in really in spending that kind of money in investing into those upgrades that's just me though and uh, that's pretty much it for my negatives let me go ahead and count through those real quick see we got one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, yeah, twelve. Um, <clears throat> so that's twelve things that I don't like about the game. Now we're gonna go into the, to the likes. Character mod. For the most part, I do like the character mod. Is it lacking a little bit? Sure. I mean, um, I wish for for some uh, pieces of clothing. Like I know in the first game, the original first game of Saints Row, Saints Row 2006. Uh, when you're wearing like jackets, especially like zipped up jackets or button up shirts and whatnot, they give you the option if you want, you know, your shirt and or jacket to be uh, closed or opened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this game did not have that. Had this game had that, I would definitely uh, love this a whole lot more. I do, however, like that um, instead of having to buy, uh, like, because you know, in the first original game, the 2006 game, if you want like, you know, the, the, the same style of shirt, but you want it in various colors, you have to keep buying that same shirt just in different colors, you know what I'm saying? I do like that in this game, instead of having to do that, once you buy any piece of clothing, you can, whenever you want to wear that piece of clothing, you can pick whatever color you want it to be, You can, and if you unlock the 
cutting edge um, sci uh, business venture and complete all the missions for uh, cutting edge um, business ventures and you can choose whatever textures that you want. I thought that, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to buy the same piece of clothing over and over again just to have it in, in different colors and different styles or whatever. No, you, you once you buy each piece of clothing, you own it and you can do whatever you want with it. I, I do like that part where you can change up the colors and the textures. That part is dope. I do like that. Car mods, I feel like they somewhat deliver on the car mod. However, um, I wish that we had it, it, it was more in depth. I wish that we had um, suspension uh, adjustments, meaning like no matter what vehicle you drive, be it a car or a truck, you know what I mean, to make the car mod more realistic. Let us give us the option of having you know suspension upgrades. Whether we want to put in, I mean, if we want it lifted, yeah, we, I mean, they do have the option of getting like an off road lifted kit for any of your vehicles. You know what I mean? You gave us that option, but I mean, if we want, like, let's say we want to cruise around in a low rider truck or a low rider car, you know what I mean? Give us the option of being able to adjust the ride height on our vehicles without having to adjust the size of our tires. That's the thing, too. You have to adjust the size of your tires in order to lower your vehicle or raise your vehicle, which I'm not a fan of. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I wish we so I wish we had like like uh, suspension adjustments for all vehicles. Um, hydraulics for the low riders. Go back to the low riders. You gave us low rider wheels. You gave us the the uh, wired wheels and everything. You give us white wall tires. I appreciate that. I'm thankful for that. But you can't have a low rider with all that stuff and not have hydraulics. <laughs> you gave us hydraulics in Saints Row Two. You give us, I think, I think we had hydraulics in Saints Row 1 as well. I, I could be mistaken. I'm, I'm pretty sure we had that. I know by the time Saints Row the Third came out, hydraulics were no longer uh, a thing. It sure as hell wasn't in Saints Row 4. Um, but, yo, bring that back. Bring, you know what I mean? Uh, do a, a, a DLC or, or a patch. Better yet, do a patch. You know what I mean? Patch in a hydraulic system. Patch in uh, suspension a a adjustments. While you're at it, patch, in, patch up all those bugs and glitches that you have going on in the game as well. You know what I mean? So the game can at least be more more, more fun to play. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, graphics. I think the graphics for the most part are... I would say they're, they're, they're decent enough for what this game is supposed to be for what this game is i think the graphics are okay um we'll get into comparisons uh because i will be comparing this game to all of the original four uh one game at a time um but i would say graphics for the most part are, are okay they're they're pretty decent uh, especially for the current gen systems yeah they they, they, they get a pass um one thing i do definitely like in terms of visuals, I do like like the uh, city. I do like the, the the new city, um, the new city that that we're in, or the um, the the town that's out in like the middle of the sticks. I do like that. It's it's a new environment. It's a you know what I mean. It's a nice change of pace. Rather than being in a in like in a big major city, you put us in a in a small town that's like out in the sticks. I do like that because. You, there, there's there's like a, a lot of opportunities to give us like you know hidden places to to explore and just like saints row 2 this city does have some places to you know to do a lot of uh exploring in uh where you can find various easter eggs there's a um a pennywise the clown easter egg there's a teenage mutant ninja turtles easter egg there's a three amigos easter egg um there, there's all kinds of easter eggs in this game this game does not lack in that department at all um so yeah, the uh, city slash map, I'm, I'm all for. Clothing, I already addressed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move, we'll move on. Side hustles, I do like the side hustles. Um, one thing that this game does have that I will give give credit for, because some people say, oh, it's hard to make money in this game. It's absolutely not hard to make money in this game. You have your your side hustles, you have your business ventures, you got the dumpster diving. Yeah, they have <laughs> dumpster diving in this game, but I mean, hey. Do what you gotta do to make your money. I'm not judging you. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's also um, that's been carried over from the past. Uh, no, from Saints Row the Third. I almost said past two games, the last two games, but really Saints Row the Third was the only one that really had this. Um, but they, the the drug pallets, they they carried that over into this game from the third game. Uh, so you know, again, there's another way to make money there. 
Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I know there was something else. I feel like I'm missing something. So side hustles, business ventures, um, pal drug pallets, dumpster diving. No, I think that's, that's, that pretty much covers it. Um, the fast... What I put? Oh, oh, the, um, okay. As I mentioned earlier, the business ventures. Uh, that, that was another thing that I liked that they that they added to, to the game because then that helps with your um, residual income. Once you get your side um, business ventures going, you have uh, residual income coming in. You can transfer money over whenever you like. It starts accumulating in real time. If you go on your phone and you look at your, your uh, cash app, if you will, you'll, you'll see your cash actually accumulate in real time, which is pretty dope. Um, <clears throat> gang Ops. So when you start your business ventures, you'll you'll see um, like brass knuckles um, on, marked on the map, and it's actually uh, they, they call it something else in this game. I can't remember, but essentially what it is, it's gang ops. You know what I mean? And if you play Saints Row the Third, you play uh, Saints Row Four, then you know what what gang ops are. Um, <clears throat> it's basically uh, you um, picking a fight with, with with the gang to claim you know a piece of turf piece of territory you know what i'm saying um but uh only difference though is that this set of gang ops it's not the same thing in in the, each one that you do they 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 vary in in what they really are some of them are pretty much straightforward uh uh shootouts with with, with uh, rival gangs some of them are actually um destroying police surveillance vans and uh, <clears throat> if you're in a martial territory, you actually, um, there's there's times where you'll fight up against um, members of Marshall's, um, I guess, employment. Um, and then there's times where you'll, you're, you're doing the same thing. You're taking out uh, police surveillance vans. But then there's times where you're actually destroying um, Marshall drones. Like, they actually have drones out. And, you get, and once you destroy all the drones, then you're pretty much done. So it all depends on... Uh, where where you're putting your whose territory you're putting your biz, business ventures in and what type and th that'll give you like you know various types of uh, gang ops if that makes any sense, which is which is pretty dope. So it's not something that's like it's it's repeated over and over like in the third game and in the fourth game, which I do appreciate. Um, <clears throat> so we also have um, fast travel. First game to ever have fast travel in it, which I do like. It's very convenient because the map, the map may look small when you're looking at it, but when you're actually driving around, it's actually not a very small town or city. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, there, you, you will get some mileage out of your vehicles when driving around on this map. Um, I'll say that much. Um, <clears throat> so, but I do like the fact that we do have some. Uh, some fast travel so let's, let's say you want to do some some side stuff whether it's the side hustles or you want to do um a mission for your business venture and sometimes they conveniently place fast travels near those those um pieces of activities that, that you want to do so i do appreciate that um <clears throat> okay so we cover gang ops fast travel i'm sorry i'm just trying to find my place here on the list side hustles we went through okay past game references yes um there are some things that have carried over into this game from past games loa dust exists in this universe if you play saints row 2 you know what loa dust is um i did see um you know how they you know nowadays um in various neighborhoods whenever there, there's like an, an, an uh, uh, election coming up be it a a countrywide election like the, like the presidential election or uh a local election like someone that's running for mayor governor senator or whatever the case um they'll have their um their, their little plaques planted on their yard or it says you know, vote for this person for mayor or whatever the hell there um, i remember driving through a pantero neighborhood and legit there was a vote for alderman hughes um in, on, on someone's lawn. So Alderman Hughes exists in this universe. Um, yeah. So I, I do like that this game makes a lot of references. It does pay homage to the originals. It really does. Um, so yeah, Alderman Hughes is in this universe. Lola does exist in this universe. Um, 
<clears throat> and some some stuff you have to really listen to the dialogue in order to get because they do make references in the dialogue about past games as well like the boss does give the um it's our time now let's get this shit started speech which i do appreciate um that is cool uh the wingsuit i do i do dig it's not the same as having superpowers in saints row 4 um the wingsuit obviously it operates a little bit differently <laughs> um it's one of those things that um <clears throat> if you never played a game that has something like this before um i don't know depending on the kind of gamer you are like to me um i took to it right away i mean i it, it wasn't really a problem with me the only issue i really had at first because of the because it was like really like like my, my first time really actually figuring out the, the launching and everything i got down the, the actually controlling your player as they're using the wingsuit i got that part no problem it was the landing i had to, I had to figure out you know what i mean and for the most part i did and it gives you options on how you want to land if, you, if, if there's a car nearby you press y your player will land on, on the top of a car no problem if you want to just do a nice simple landing on the ground all you have to do is press i believe it's the left trigger if memory serves if not the right trigger it's one of the triggers um you press one of the uh, triggers and then your your boss will do this like kind of stop like this and then gently drop down and, and it will do a nice soft landing and everything so so yeah pretty much got that figured out so yeah i do like the wingsuit um i haven't seen where you're able to customize your, your wingsuit um i'm gonna have to do some more exploring in regards to that oh and then um boot hill <clears throat> there was a mission where you go to this island and your part it's called boot hill island and it's it's essentially uh professor genki's um i forgot what they what, what, what they call it um but it's basically a professor genki type of activity where you're going around you're you're basically in this competition with other people you're um you're you're basically competing against uh, other players and you're actually in, it's, it's a, literally a fight to the death just like you know professor genki's um activities in the in the third and fourth game you know you're basically um shooting and basically you're murdering everybody <laughs> you're, you're murking everybody um i do like that there was a time though during the mission where mascots actually came out so we got mascots in the middle of this mission which is a reference to the third game when they were first introduced and a, a reference to i believe and i believe they, they appeared in the fourth game as well i don't know we'll we'll definitely find out when i revisit um the uh, fourth game after i finish things for the third um but yeah um I, and so i did like that so yeah there's a lot of references here that they made you know what i mean whether it's pop culture references or references to like past, past games and stuff i do appreciate that i do like that so they have forgotten their, their roots completely um they do pay homage to past games they do give little little nods little winks to past games and everything to which i do appreciate um and then yeah as i mentioned earlier secret areas to to explore um that's definitely there um the skills and perks at first i was having a bit of trouble in in working the uh the uh, skills in, in my fights but then once i the, but the more um I, I messed around with it the more i practiced with it the better i got with it so it's definitely something that depending on the kind of gamer that you are you know what i'm saying it, it could it, it's definitely like a, there's a definitely a little bit of a, of a of a learning curve there but it's one of those things like the more you you mess around with it the more you um play around with it the better you will get at it you you, you can get really good in implementing your your skills and uh, the perk systems I, I i do like as well uh, and then the homie revive as i mentioned earlier i didn't i didn't think at, at first this game had the homie revive uh, but this game does have that as well okay so i have 12 dislikes on this list let me count my likes here let me see here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 16 and 17 so yeah i got more likes than dislikes on this game now <clears throat> does that mean that this is a a good game does that mean that this is a a bad game well before we get into that let's go into the uh, comparisons of the original uh four game series and again i'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down with one game at a time 
how this game stacks up in comparison to the original release of Saints Row 2006. Now, before you uh, either click off or pull out your your, pitch, your pitchforks and your and your torches, and you leave you know your your senseless comments in my comments section, your trolling comments in my comments section, hear me out, okay? Hear me out. In regards to visuals. And as far as like customization options and whatnot, this game, I feel like it's it's better than 2006. However, okay, however, hear me out. In terms of character and story, I feel like 2006 is the far superior game. Okay, so, uh, so again, <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you made it this far, thank you. Appreciate that. Now, in comparison to Saints Row 2, the original sequel that came out in 2008, in terms of visuals, gameplay, uh, and I should have said gameplay for the first game. I feel like this game, in terms of gameplay, is better than the first game. In terms of gameplay, visuals, um, I say... I say this game is is better than 2000 in, in, in Saints Row 2 2008 in terms of gameplay and visuals only. Now, in terms of character, story, um, oh, and also in customization, I think 20, 2022 is better in the customization as well. Um, but in terms of, of story and character, obviously 2008 is the far superior game put you like this if i can get a remaster or a remake rather of the first two original games with this game's graphics then those remakes will be far far superior to this game and i mean this game would not be able to, to hold a candle to the first two games if i had this game's visuals um now in terms of and now in, in comparison to to, uh, to Saints Row the Third, both the original and the remaster, because they're basically the same game. Um, <clears throat> I would say in terms of visuals, um, the Saints Row the Third remaster is better in regards to visuals. Um, <clears throat> not only in visuals, but also in gameplay. Saints Row the Third, I think, has better gameplay and, and, and visuals than 2022 does. Um, in terms of story and character, this is tough. This is when um, Saints Row start, started getting, getting goofy was the third game. Um, I'll say this, that I think if as far as character and story, the third game easily beats this game because I, I'd like that we still had characters that we met in the second game, like Shondi and Pierce. Um, they they were able to get carried over into this game, um, so we had more time with them. So it, it yeah, so yeah, so it's easy for me to say in terms of like character, uh, gameplay, and visuals. Yeah, same sort of third. Um, I would say the remaster more so than the original easily beats this game. I would say the 2022, if anything, it's tied with the original release of Saints Row the Third, but the Saints Row the Third remaster, I feel like is it's a hair or two above this game. Um, <clears throat> if I had Saints Row the Third's visuals in this game. You know what I mean? And without the bugs and everything, then I think this game would be just, just a little bit better. Um, now, in in comparison to the fourth game, uh, being at the fourth game is really an extended an, an extended piece from the, the, the third game. Easy for me to say. Um, <clears throat> I would say... The fourth game, visually and gameplay-wise, and even story to a degree, easily trumps this game. Um, <clears throat> yeah. However, uh, so if, if I were to place Saints Row 2022 
in the ranking. If, if I were to rank these games, I would say Saints Row 2022. I mean, because it really, it, and really, it, it depends on what aspects you know we're, we're comparing the games to. Story wise, gameplay wise, th this game is dead last. As far as visuals are concerned, gameplay is concerned. Um, yeah, this game is still dead last. <laughs> well, no, um, this, well, yeah, it's still dead last behind Saints Row 1 and 2. And this is in terms of gameplay. <clears throat> gameplay and, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, where, where do I stand with this game? Do I like it? Do I hate it? Here, here's where we're going to, like, the final verdict. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Do I think it's okay? I think for the most part, it's not a bad game. Um, I mean, all things considered, given with the bugs, the glitches, you know what I mean, and and um, some other issues that this game does have, because this, this game does have some issues. I think overall, all things considered, it's not it's not as terrible as a lot of people make it out to be. It's it's not as woke as a lot of people are making it out to be. And I'm really sick and tired of the freaking political, of the politics getting into video games. I don't care what side of the coin you're on, whether you lean right or you lean left, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Um, keep your political BS out of my games. Um, it's tough. Because I, I do, for the most part, like the game. There are just some things uh, about the game, though, that do kind of make me cringe do kind of frustrate me i would say it's just an okay game it's an all right game is it revisitable if that's a word yeah it's definitely worth, worth a revisit you know what i'm saying because um there's still some fun to be had with the game is it volition's best work no no not not really it, it can definitely be better did they under deliver sure to a degree i would agree that they did under deliver um <clears throat> But um, I don't think it's it's anywhere near as terrible as a lot of people are making it out to be. Um, I'm very much middle of the road with it. So if I had to rate this game, I was I would out of five stars, I would give it. I would I would go as, I would go as far as to giving it like anywhere between two and a half to three out of five stars. I think it's a decent game. I think at times it can be a fun game. Um, I think if they fix the bugs and the glitches, it would be a solid game. Um, but it's it's not it's not one of, one of the best Saints Row games um, that I've ever played. I, I would much rather play any of the original four before I play this game. But this game has to me it has more replay value than Get Out of Hell. At least you know what I'm saying. At least it's not Get Out of Hell. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and, and at least it's not Saints Row 4. I mean, if anything, I would probably play this more than, than Saints Row 4. You know what I'm saying? That's just me, though. Um, because, hey, at least there's, there's no aliens in this. Although there are alien references. You, you can find some UFOs in this game just like you could in Saints Row 2. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, at least it has that going for it. No aliens. No, you know, running for president or any, or any of that nonsense. Um, no sci-fi craziness going on and definitely no get out of hell nonsense going on um so yeah i mean i say it, it's it's not a bad game i mean if you haven't played it check it out for yourselves if you're worried about not liking the game or you think it may not be great then hey wait wait for the black friday sale you know what i mean not, nothing wrong with that wait wait till it gets discounted you know what i mean before you go and you pick it up um but it's it's definitely worth checking out at least, you know what I mean. And I think I think uh, for the most part, people can really find some fun moments in that game for them. Um, it just really it depends on you at the end of the day. Um, I'm I'm for one and glad that that I played it. I got some time with the game because now I know what kind of a game for sure that it really is. And I say yeah, it's it's not as bad as as a lot of heads are making it out to be. It's not the greatest game, but it's not the worst game either, bottom line. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much my um, my honest thoughts, my honest views on Saints Row 2022. Um, let me know where you guys stand with the game. Let me know what camp you're in. And please give reasonable, logical uh, reasons why you either 
like the game what is it about the game that you like um or if you hate the game and real legit reasons why you hate the game genuine reasons why you you personally why you hate this game and um, also and for some of you who are like me you you you, you're, you're kind of middle of the road with it um leaning more towards liking the game or leaning more towards hating the game you know what i mean or if you're just straight up middle of the road with it let, let me know that as well you know what i'm saying um i look i look forward to having a conversation with you guys in the comment section down below let's keep it civil all right let's have a nice civil discussion about the game we don't need to come at each other sideways at the end of the day hey look we all have our preferences we all have our own views we all have our own opinions and <clears throat> that's what makes this world so great you know what i'm saying we can agree we can disagree and still be cool with each other you know what i'm saying still be respectful towards each other you feel me all right y'all pretty much all i got to say um through with this review y'all know the deal like comment share subscribe all that good stuff would would really appreciate all the support that i can get for this channel it really means the world and um yeah and so yeah coming up um like i said we will be wrapping up central the third remaster i did start on that game and yeah i've been busy with a bunch of other stuff and that's why we haven't really been able to finish it but we will be wrapping up saints row the third we will be revisiting saints row four and then after that i kind of want to go back into doing some retro gaming um i want to revisit the sly cooper trilogy because that's another one of my favorite uh, franchises as well um I'm a little tardy to the party and celebrating the 20 year anniversary of the original Sly Cooper release. So let me just say happy birthday, Sly Cooper. Um, I was first introduced to that game series way back in 2002 when the original game um, did launch uh, on the PS2. I was I was in my late teens at the time, so that gives you an idea of how old I am. Um, but anyway, if the beer doesn't give it away. Anyway, um, so yeah, guys, till the next one. It's your boy Jason JVs, and y'all have a blessed one. And until the next one, later.